let's discuss gastric and duodenal ulcers as we continue with face reading. This disease results from the decreased protective function of the local mucosa of the stomach and duodenum, leading to its failure to balance the acidic gastric juices that aid digestion. Clinically, the disease features a chronic process, periodic attacks, and rhythmicity of symptoms. The main symptoms are upper abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, acid reflux, salivating, abdominal fullness, and constipation. Triggers include mood swings and healthy lifestyle habits and side effects from drugs. Now let's go to face reading. Reticular hyperplasia of the lower eyelid conjunctiva and vulvar conjunctival blood vessels suggest pathological changes in the stomach and duodenum. Patients with gastric ulcers often have a thick yellow tongue coating and a red tongue texture, while those with duodenum ulcers mostly have a smooth tongue surface with no coating, or a thin layer of white coating and the tongue is light or light red. Here is a picture showing reticular hyperplasia of the lower eyelid conjunctiva and vulvar conjunctival blood vessels. For the therapeutic method, the patient should consume a regular diet, avoid overeating, refrain from food that are too sweet, too sour, too salty, and too hot, and foods that are raw, cold, hard, spicy, or pungent, because such food tend to irritate the stomach. Eat more easily digestible food. Here is an illustration showing a tongue with a thick yellow coating and a red texture. For massage, press knead the hug point or the LI4 point with your thumb for three minutes, three times a day. Freeze knead until a distension is produced. This point is effective for diseases of the digestive system. Frequent massaging of this point can clear away heat and eliminate fire and effectively relieve the symptoms of gastric and duodenal ulcers. Thank you for your attention.